Okay, so these are the notes for section 5.5, power reducing formulas. Basically, with all of the problems, you're trying to get rid of the exponent. So, you want to get done... Oh, I don't like that color. Hold on. You're not done until you have no more exponents. So, we need to get rid of that 4. So, when we look at this, we have some formulas dealing with squared terms. We need to look at the sine of to the fourth power as maybe sine squared x and that quantity squared. Okay? Now with that, we have a formula for sine where I can substitute 1 minus the cosine of 2, in this case it's x, all over 2, and then that quantity is going to be squared. So now I'm just going to, basically I'm just going to multiply it out. So if you remember, to, dis to expand a binomial, it's the first one squared, so it's 1 squared minus 2 cosine of 2x plus the square of the second one, so cosine squared of 2x all over 2 times 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, so I have a 4 in the bottom. Now, if you look at this, I still have an exponent. I still have that 2. I need to get rid of it. So off to the side, here's a substitution we can do. Well, if I take that cosine squared of 2x, let's say I substitute in a u for the 2x. Oops, sorry about that. A little thing's messing up here. Okay, so now I have cosine squared of u. Well, use, applying my formula for cosine, it's 1 plus the cosine of 2, in this case it would be u, over 2. Put the 2x back in. And it's 1 plus the cosine of 2 times 2x makes that 4x over 2. So every time I get a cosine squared of a 2x, I can substitute this in. Sine's not going to be any different, except instead of a plus sign, we have a minus. So this is going to go back and take the place right here. Now, that tells me I'm going to have a fraction over a fraction. And so, that's going to get kind of messy. So before I substitute that back in, I'm going to actually take out the 1 fourth. Let me factor out that 1 fourth. And that's going to give me 1 minus 2 cosine of 2x plus the cosine squared of 2x. Now put that substitution in. So I'm going to put in a plus 1 plus the cosine of 4x all over 2. Before I distribute the 1 fourth, I'm going to split my fraction up here to be 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 4x. That way I don't forget when I distribute the 1 fourth to simplify everything that I actually have two things there. So then distribute the 1 fourth, I get 1 fourth minus 1 half cosine 2x plus one-eighth, plus one-eighth cosine of four x. Now I'm just going to combine the one-fourth and the one-eighth and I get three-eighths minus one-half cosine of two-fourths plus one-eighth cosine of four x. 
I've simplified it down, I have no more exponents, and we're done. Okay, on to example two. I want to rewrite as a single power of cosine. And so what I have is the sine square root of x times the cosine to the fourth. Ah, tiny screen to work with here. Okay, and I want to simplify this all the way down to where it's just cosines. That's it. Well, I know I have the sine squared there. I've got a formula for sine squared, but I, for, for cosine to the fourth, could I rewrite that as cosine squared x times cosine squared x? Okay, so now substitute our formulas in. For sine, it's 1 minus the cosine of 2x over 2. For cosine squared, it's 1 plus the cosine of 2x over 2, and again, 1 plus the cosine of 2x over 2. All right. Now, if I look at these, these first two, this one and this one, our numerators are difference of squares. So if I multiply them together, I'm still going to only end up with two terms on top. And I like that idea. So if I take 1 minus the cosine of 2x times 1 plus the cosine of 2x, I'm going to get this, 1 minus cosine of 2x excuse me, 1 plus the cosine of 2x minus the cosine of 2x minus cosine times cosine is going to give me cosine squared of 2x all over 4. And I'm not doing anything with that last parenthesis yet. I'm going to simplify the first one as much as I can. Okay? All right, and looking here, you notice that this one and this one are going to cancel out, and I'm left with 1 minus, uh, that's a bad O, cosine squared of 2x all over 4. Now, I'm going to split this into two fractions, this first parenthesis, because of the fact I've got to get rid of that square again, just like what we did before. So it's going to be 1 fourth minus 1 fourth cosine squared 2x times, I might as well split the second one too, because we're going to end up needing to split it. Now, we already talked about this one right here. We did that in the last problem that we did. And we found that the cosine squared of 2x was 1 plus the cosine of 4x over 2. So I'm just substituting that in in the place. You're going to have a lot of fractions. I'm going to just tell you that right now. There's going to be a lot of fractions here. Cosine. Oh, that's a bad cosine. Okay, so now I have one-fourth minus. Now the one four, I'm going to split this parenthesis right here. I'm going to split this one in into two. And then I'm going to distribute and combine like terms in just a second. I 
don't know if you've noticed, but most of these are going to be just substituting and then just simplifying. That's all you're going to be doing. So I have one fourth minus one eighth. So I'm distributing that negative one fourth minus the cosine of four x over eight times one plus over two plus one over two times the cosine of two x. We're almost done. One fourth minus one eighth. is going to be one eighth minus, and I'm going to just bring out that one eighth that's in front of the cosine okay so now let's take one eighth times one half, and that's one sixteenth. One eighth times the one half again, so it's one sixteenth, the cosine of two x. Going this way, minus one sixteenth, the cosine of four x, and then minus the one sixteenth the cosine of four x cosine of two x alright so right now we have one sixteenth plus one sixteenth cosine two x minus one sixteenth cosine four x minus one sixteenth the cosine of four x cosine two x well this last part right here We can use our product to sum formula to kind of clean it up a little bit. So let's do that. So let's go to the top of the next screen. And let's rewrite what we had. Let me get it. And that was the 1 16th. Whoop, wrong color. 1 16th plus the 1 16th cosine of 2x minus the 1 16th cosine of 4x minus the 1 16th the cosine of 4x cosine of 2x. Our power reducing formula says that we can take this right here and we can substitute in one half the cosine of the sum of the difference of the two angles plus the cosine of the sum. So just rewrite this. One sixteenth plus one sixteenth the cosine of two x minus one sixteenth cosine of four x minus one sixteenth times one half the cosine of four x minus two x plus the cosine of four x plus two x now let's just clean it up. Okay. So I get one sixteenth plus the cos one sixteenth times the cosine of two x minus one sixteenth times the cosine of four x. Now I'm just distributing the one sixteenth. One sixteenth times one half is one thirty second cosine of 4x and minus 2x is 2x. Negative 1 16th times 
Uh, hold on here. I forgot to put a parenthesis here, guys. There's a parenthesis all around this one half. Ugh. I always get it way too high up on the screen. So the one half goes to both things in the denominator. So minus another one sixteenth. Why did I write that? One thirty second. I'm sorry. The cosine of 4x plus 2x, and that's 6x. Okay, so that's this example. Again, it's just a lot of substituting and just plugging and chugging. All right? Be ready with any questions you might have, and we will see you in class.